This is a free call from. Ruby, thank you. Purgatory Corrections. An inmate at Purgatory Correctional Facility. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. Press 1 to accept all communications from this inmate and tellmate. To deny this call, press. Yeah? Yeah, hi. Okay. When I saw how long this separation was lasting, I wanted to think of some ways that I could bring in money or make some money if if you didn't ever come back. So I was that's when I asked if you would co sign on a loan if I found a house and maybe I could Airbnb it or rent it out or I've been playing with numbers in my head and I think I could make something but I don't want to be dumb and I want to be very conservative. So I I pulled the money and I have it in a bag. And with you? Do the police have it? Well, I, I don't know what the police took. I don't know what the police have. But the bag is at Jody's they house? Just, they can't just take people's money. I mean, that, that's not right. Well, they're not going to take the money, but when they have a search warrant, they have access to everything in the house. Sure. I I have a feeling we're going to need that money. We might do. We might do. So um, I haven't been making big purchases. I've been very conservative. I think the biggest expense has been the kids' schooling, and that's um, they have enough curriculum to get them for a couple of years. So. Uh. Um, okay. I just received a text from Ted Dawson out of the blue. Hmm? Is there Ted Dawson, who I haven't heard from in years. What, he just texted you? Yeah, the what story's out. So he said, Stormy sent me an article, and it just broke my heart. I just wanted you to know I'm thinking about you, and if I can ever be a resource, we are always okay. here. Are we in the news? It sounds like at, at least you're in the news. I don't know about me. I don't know what he's talking about. But. I'm wondering if they went to Sherry to like ask her questions. I don't know. These bookings are public. I'm, I know they are. And a couple of months ago, Business Insider was reaching out to me, and I ignored their email. But um, I'm going dark. This is a witch. I'm not at BYU. I'm not at BYU anymore, so I don't know how they're going to find me. Yeah, maybe it was a blessing. This is a witch hunt. I. I the devil's been after me for years, and have you shared that with the detectives? I have not said a word until we have an attorney. Okay, well, you know that this phone call is being recorded. You have one minute remaining for this call. Yes, that will come out. That will come out. Okay. When we were when we were driven to the jail, um, the detective was putting us in the car, and Jody said, yeah, "I trust you." So they're going to be in the hospital for three days. So weird. It's just not necessary. They're trying to exaggerate this. Well, I, well, I don't, they didn't show me, the hero. they didn't show me any pictures or anything with the way they described it. It was very serious.
You have exceeded the allowable time for this call. Goodbye. And please see the truth. I know it's obscured. I'm, I'm, where I see the facts, I see the truth, and that's what I'm, that's what I'm gathering. You know my heart. What are they charging you with? Two degrees of second, two charges of second degree felony for child abuse. Two charges of second degree felony, child abuse. Yes. Um, okay. Wow. That's very serious. I have it's interesting I had the prompting over the last month to read Victor Frankel. <laughs> like, I was reading him and it was like the worst part was not knowing the end. He said those who he said he had a room a, an inmate that's man search for meaning and he was a prisoner in World War II and he said the worst part and the greatest bringing of depression was not the lack of food and it wasn't the weather conditions, it was not knowing how long it would last. So I think I was prepared for this. I do feel strong mm-hmm. and I feel calm. And you know what? They they may adults have a really hard time understanding that children can be full of evil and what that takes to fight it. You've seen what it takes to fight evil. It's not the person you're fighting. And it can look like something it's not. And you've been there, you know that. And so I don't know any adults who are going to see the truth. So I'm calm about this, and I just pray that you'll hang in there. You have one minute remaining for this call. I think I can call back. But. Yeah, but just in case, I'm I'm preparing to step up and fight for the children. They've been taken, and they're going to be. There's going to be a hearing in the next couple of days here in Provo. I'm sorry. I just I signaled to to Joe. Will you say that one more time? Yes. I'm prepared to step up and fight for the children. They've been taken into custody. They're in foster care, and there's going to be a hearing within the next uh, two or three days. What about Abby and Julie? Them, too. All four were taken. Where did they go to get Abby and Julie? I don't know. They, they, while I was... With them, they got Abby, and they were looking. You have at exceeded Judy. the allowable time for this call. Goodbye. I believe that God has a hand in the old Ruby, you know, being uh, kind of set free or whatever you want to call it. Um, that you know, thing being gone. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I could not come out of this without, without his grace, without his mercy, without his help. This has been the strangest and the most miraculous intervention. It it put everybody where they needed to be. It separated me from Jody, so I'm not hearing her, and I think just being gone and not hearing her has cleared a lot of things up for me and it put the kids in a place where they're you have exceeded the allowable time for this call goodbye